Hi, I'm Tamara and welcome back to the Fresh Magazine Test Kitchen. Today, I'm going to show you how to make delicious and versatile zucchini fritters. If you've ever wondered how to make your fritters crispy, tasty and not soggy, keep watching for the secret. Clean hands. So now let's talk about the ingredients that you'll need for this recipe. So of course you're going to need zucchini. You'll need three for this recipe. I've got two eggs which I've kept chilled in the fridge. I'll tell you why that's important later. One cup of self-raising flour, some salt flakes, one clove of garlic, a quarter of a cup of Parmesan cheese. This actually makes them super crispy and also tasty. Third of a cup of soda water, which is chilled, two spring onion and a tablespoon of herbs. And for this, I've chosen some beautiful parsley and mint. Right, so let's get started. So clear a little bit of space. Um, and let's talk a little bit about the zucchini, which is the hero of this dish. So when picking zucchini, you should choose ones that feel heavy for their size. And the best way to store these guys is in a paper bag in the fridge with it open so that air can circulate around it, unwashed as well. So we need a grater and a colander to get started. So just grab those. We're grating the zucchini and then salting it. And that is actually a really good tip to get crispy fritters. So any vegetables that have a high moisture content like zucchini do really well from salting them to draw out that moisture so they don't make your dish soggy. So just keep your fingers out of the way and try and keep your hand flat so you can grate as much zucchini off as possible. The grating is all done and look how much there is. This is really a great way to get veg into your day. So all I'm gonna do is put that in the colander and then I'm going to add some salt. So I'm using about one teaspoon of the salt flakes. Then I'm just gonna give that a little toss through to distribute. Then I'll take it to the sink because some water is gonna start leaching out of those zucchini and we'll leave it for about 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes. So I've got a bowl here with some paper towel or you could use a clean tea towel if you like. Um, and I've got my colander of zucchini, which has been sitting there. So all I'm gonna do is grab that zucchini, pop it into this paper towel, and then just start squeezing that to get some of that extra moisture out. Okay, so you need a little bit of muscle strength here. Give it a really good squeeze. Look at how much moisture is coming out of that just from sitting for 10 minutes with that salt. This is a really important step to make sure you don't get soggy fritters. Check it out, all drained. Okay, so we put that zucchini aside. Now it's time to move on to the batter. So I've got a bowl here and a sieve and my self-raising flour. So I'm using self-raising flour because it has a little bit of rising agent in it. It's gonna make them extra fluffy. Also, sifting this will help with that as well. Um, and you can use other flour too. If you don't wanna use self-raising flour, you could use wholemeal or you could use almond meal. It's really up to you. Okay, so we're gonna make a well, and I'm sorry, but I have like the most gigantic whisk in the world because it's the test kitchen, it's not my home. So make a little well in the center. And then we're gonna add our eggs and our soda water. So the eggs and the soda water are chilled. That was really important because it stops the development of gluten, which means you're gonna get a better textured fritter. Soda water, so I need a third of a cup measure. <laughs> Don't worry about that if that happens. <laughs> and then give it a whisk. So whisking. So don't whisk too much. We don't want to develop the gluten. And the reason we use soda water in this mixture is it allows the mixture to bubble a little bit, um, which expands under heat and it means that we get a lighter, fluffier texture. So we're just going to set this aside and then I'm going to chop some of our other additions. So I've got my spring onion, my garlic. You know I put garlic in everything. My herbs, I've got my Parmesan cheese. Now get all that goodness in there. And we can't forget our hero ingredient, that beautiful zucchini. Let's add that all in. Now just give it a little gentle stir to combine. We don't want to overmix it. See how I'm just folding? and not being too rough with that batter. And we're off to the cooktop. Let's go. Okay, so I've got a large non-stick frying pan. I'm gonna put that onto a medium heat. 
if I can turn this on. So make sure you add enough oil that it completely covers the base of your pan. So I can tell that my oil is ready because it has a slight shimmer across the surface. So that's exactly what we want. I've also got here a cooling rack for my finished fritters. It's gonna make sure they stay nice and crisp, that they don't steam if you put them straight onto a plate. So let's get started. I've got a quarter cup measure. Fill that with your batter. And then just get that into the pan. So I'm just giving it a little gentle encouragement to make sure it's a nice round shape that I'm looking for. And then we just need to wait until that side is crispy and then we're gonna give it a flip. Give it a little flip once it's golden. So it was really on that first side for about one minute, maybe a little bit less. Um, but if you just lift it up slightly, give a little peek underneath, as soon as it's golden, give it that flip. Yeah, golden on both sides. So now just take that out and put that straight on to the cooling rack. And we're ready for number two. I'm just dipping my spoon into the oil before I pat it down so it doesn't stick. And just tilt the pan slightly to make sure that oil gets all around it. Um, so you can make these without the cheese in them and without the eggs. So just leave the cheese out and then for the eggs, replace every egg with one tablespoon of flaxseed meal and three tablespoons of water. So these fritters keep really well, great in lunch boxes or a quick lunch for yourself or a snack. So you can keep them in the fridge for about a week or you can decide to freeze them and then when you're ready to eat them again, heat them up in a 200 degree oven until they're heated through and crispy. So while you're cooking these, you can put the ones that are already done into the oven um, at a low temperature, about 100 degrees. It'll make sure they stay nice, hot and crispy until we serve them. We're all done at the cooktop. So while they're still nice and warm, make sure to sprinkle them with a little bit of extra sea salt. My favorite way to serve up these fritters for brekkie is just to pop a few onto a plate, top it with some extra crispy bacon, some extra parsley leaves from the herbs that I used before, and to top it off, a perfectly poached egg. For this recipe, check the link in the description below or check out my other videos.